If you've ever used one of these smaller bird feeders where you put them into the brooder for the chicks after they hatch, uh, you may have noticed that when you put in the, the game bird starter, which is the crumble, a lot of the crumble actually, it incorporates a lot of dust because it breaks down and you get a lot of dust in it. So that's really fine grain. And what happens with these is it tends to cake up down the bottom and it blocks the holes. Uh, so the feed doesn't flow down and it actually kind of dries up and the, the quail don't seem to like the, the meal. It, it seems to get stuck on their beaks and they like to have the big chunks so they can sort of hit them and then swallow them. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is uh, drill some holes into this to try and open it up a little bit. As long as it's below that line it shouldn't overflow and I'll probably start out with some small holes and then if it doesn't work I will go to larger holes to try and overcome this problem. What tends to happen is they eat down and then I have to shake it. I have to shake it like that and that tends to disturb them. They don't like that so I want to try and fix it so that they don't have to wait for me to do that and then when it's when it's really full they really go for it they love it i've now drilled some holes in each of these segments i didn't want to do too big because i don't want to flat so i'll test it and if it doesn't work i can keep going bigger and the bigger you go the obviously the more you weaken the plastic so it's about getting the balance right and it shouldn't overflow because it's below the line so it should be fine i think if it even gets stuck the quail will probably tap at the little holes and then a little bit more might come down through so that should be good I drilled the holes out a fair bit bigger because I believe they're a bit small. So I'm just going to test it by adding a bunch of game bird starter and see how it goes. You can see some is coming out there. So I wonder if they would be tapping against it with their little beaks. You might see more come out. So I'll, I'll give that a go. For, yeah, I can see some coming out when I tap it and I've got a big fat finger in there. I'll give this a go for the first batch. And then after this batch, if I still need more of it to come out, I can just actually cut a whole half shoe there out of that and it should work a lot better. So yeah, there's one way to fix it if you're having that problem.